guys, Justin Byrne here. We got some more questions in. We got a question in from someone asking, how can singles assess their spiritual compatibility with someone of the opposite sex during the getting to know you and other stages of dating? Okay, well, um, assessing spiritual compatibility requires assessing, which means you have to see things about the person and their walk, their spiritual walk and how they walk that out, the things they do, the things they don't do because of it. And um, so I would say, first thing, go to church with them. See, see if they even go to church. Um, go and volunteer. Go help out somewhere. See how they handle with people and doing serving activities or uh, activities where they don't get anything and they're only giving. That will give you some really good information. I asked my grandpa one time, well, what advice would you give to someone who's, who's dating and wanting to figure out about a girl or a guy or something. And uh, he goes, I would tell them to go volunteer at a church. I go, okay, why, why would you tell them that? He's like, when you volunteer, you get to see really good information about a person. You get to see how they handle um, serving, how they, their attitude, their character, if they value giving above just receiving things and, and what they can get for themselves. Um, it shows you really important information. And when that's what you're asking is, how can I find out if I'm compatible? The, that information is what you're looking for. So create opportunities where you get to see it, go to things, do things together. Um, I often tell myself when I start dating someone, I don't need feelings for them. All I need is time. I need time to see them. I need time to see what life is like because character is exposed through life experiences. And the character that someone, like spiritual spirituality requires character from a person to keep it. Um, anything to do with character, it just is only released through time. You get to see in the different situations of life, the different scenarios, the different difficulties, the different successes, you get to see all that. And that's giving you really good information. So spend time with the person. You have to be able to assess and observe and see and um, so create opportunity, go volunteer, go help out, go to church, go to a home group, um, go do fun things, go do things that are difficult together. Fun, you, got, you just want to try everything because that shows you a wider gamut of life and that's what you're looking for is you're trying to find out how this person does life on a spiritual level. Um, next part of the question is during the same stages mentioned above, how can a woman evaluate how well a man is suited to lead her spiritually? premise being that a man has been given the role of spiritual leadership in marriage. Okay, well, I would say this. So if, if you're a woman and you're trying to evaluate how a man is suited to lead you spiritually, now ultimately, you're not supposed to be led by a man spiritually. Maybe he's supposed to have a spiritual covering for a family. And um, But I'd say this, you want someone who leads themselves spiritually, who has character you respect, that you feel like, Oh, that brings strength to me, to the relationship. It brings strength to the people around him because it's a quality of character, a quality of um, spirituality that produces character. It isn't just talk. It, you see it in their actions. Um, and we're not supposed to let another person be our, our spiritual, um, what do we say, uh, to lead you spiritually. We're supposed to lead each other in a marriage. We're supposed to let each other's strengths. That's what a good leader would do. A good leader isn't always the wisest person in the room, but he, he keeps the wisest people around him so that he can make the best decisions. And I'd say uh, for a man to be a leader, he needs to be able to hear and see and recognize the strengths of the woman and vice versa, because that's, it makes a, it's for the greater good. It's for a better whole where if she receives his strengths and if he receives her strengths and they make decisions according to that, where they sometimes they listen to the woman, sometimes listen to the man, it doesn't matter because the point is we want the best for our family, for our household, for our relationship. Um, and I'd say that has spirituality within it. Um, in Ephesians, it talks about a man, marriage, it takes a man laying down his life for a woman and a woman submitting to a man. The only way it's gonna work for a man to be the head of a household is, and the only way it's gonna work for a woman to want to submit to him is if he's walking out his part, which is very seriously 
giving up his life in terms of making sure his house is taken care of, watching out um, on a spiritual level, considering well his household. And um, so how can you evaluate if a man is walking out that type of spirituality, that type of character? Um, again, you gotta live life with him. You gotta see what he does. You gotta hear how he thinks. You gotta talk about things, get into things. Don't avoid talking just because it may ruffle some feathers. Those are the, the very things you want to get into, you wanna talk about. Um, and uh, again, you wanna watch his personal spiritual life because that's what's gonna reflect on um, the, the relationship, the marriage, the family life down the road. It, it's the character he carries. And is it something you respect? Is it something you go, I, that feels peaceful to trust that, that feels like a, a good covering, it feels wise, he carries wisdom. Um, you'll know it if you, if you start living life, you'll start to feel if you feel peace about his character. Now, some, you know, everybody's not perfect by any means. And so there needs to be room for someone to be working on their character and growing. But that's another really good information about their character is, are they growing in their character? That's, that's good character, to be growing in character. And you can see if a person is dealing with something and it just, it doesn't get dealt with or they never talk about it, they avoid it. That's a bit of a warning sign to, to see the rate of, of work that they do, that, that they allow their spirituality, their uh, desire for life to progress them, to help them uh, step away from things that are, are, are insufficiencies or deficiencies and step into acts of strength and acts of courage. Uh, it doesn't need to, you know, some life issues are big and they take a long time to work through, but to see steps consistently is a really good sign. You need to be able to see that. So I'd say if you see good steps and, and continued dedication to spiritual devotion, character development, as you live life with them, as you see, as you ask questions, that's a really good sign. And that will give you really good information to know if this person is going to be someone you are compatible with on a spiritual level, trust on a spiritual level, feel is a good leader for to help you in times and to help your family. Um, so time, volunteering, going to church, experiencing a person is what you need. And, and to not let fear or, or yeah, fear of of being known or knowing them or hurting them or ruffling feathers, to be able to live life open is so important to be able to assess and, and discover what a person is made of spiritually with their character. So anyway, I hope that helps you guys. Uh, please send in more questions. If you have any more questions, we'd love to hear from you. All right, talk to you guys later, bye.